This man made me get up on the toughest day. He just said, let's do leg day <laughs> at six in the morning. Yeah, it's rough today. Yeah, what about getting up this morning? Getting up was rough. Yeah? yeah I, I, I told you, I go through cycles where it's like, it'll be real easy to get up at like 4.45, 5 a.m. crush a workout, but I've been in a cycle now where I'm still getting up at what we got up at what five? I got up at like 5:15 today. Yeah, I got up right around 5 a.m. Had some coffee, hit the gym at six. Schedule's a little different, but still, it's uh, yeah, it's not fun. It's not easy. But see what I mean? Like put that in the edit. <laughs> like maybe just <laughs> yeah. Right. I never thought I would ever ever have a car in New York City. Yeah, I used to always be like, F these people that have cars in the city, why would you ever have a car here? I used to not ride the subway because I wanted to save money on the monthly subway pass. I'd bike everywhere. And now I have a car in the city. It's kind of weird, but. Yeah. Like, driving to the gym in a car is weird versus yeah. biking or walking or whatever. I do. My primary motivation for going into this workout is just to show up and get it done. There are certain days where the motivation is just not there. And for me, that happens when I've been doing something for a long period of time. I like to see life as buckets. So you have, you know, your fitness bucket, your well-being, your friendships. Right now, my fitness bucket is just on like maintain mode. So in my mind, getting any workout is better than no workout. And this morning was just getting in a workout just to move. Greatness happens on the days when you show up, even if you don't want to be there. One thing I do know is that I have never regretted waking up at the crack of dawn to get a sweat in. said before that Theo has literally saved your life. What do you mean by that? Yeah, I've, I've mentioned that before in videos that Theo has saved my life. And I mean that in the literal sense of the word, not even like a figuratively, but like Theo, I was getting sober and Theo was uh, my reason for getting up in the morning. Like you knew you had that responsibility with owning a dog and you couldn't let him down, so you- Yeah, Theo is a reason, one of the main reasons how I got sober was taking care of Theo. Yeah. You want to keep that in? Heavy stuff. I'll, yeah, keep it in. Theo really dictates the morning routine. Like I'll wake up and get a workout in, but then it's, it's Theo. Feeding Theo, taking him on his walk. I like to walk him for 30 minutes if I can in the morning, maybe even a little more. Play with him, run with him in the park, go fetch. The morning walk with Theo is my way to stay grounded. It really is because it's every morning. I know a lot of people have dog walkers. I have a dog walker occasionally for when I just can't make it, but I try to walk Theo morning, afternoon, evening. Yeah, it's a good day if Theo poops. <laughs> <laughs> so it just gives me that sense of purpose and that sense of grounding. That's what Theo means to me. I guess I'm a father in that sense. Not like a real dad yet. So many emails. What you're seeing in this video is not a very glamorous day. It's very much so a typical day in the life. I mean, you saw it. It's a huge contrast to like my previous day in the life videos where it was super glamorized and it was like a cheesy voiceover and it was stuff that like, it was just very social media 2017. Whereas I feel like after the pandemic, it just, everyone's up so bad where it's like, okay, let's just see something real. Okay, keys, wallet, phone, phone. You really phone. can't tell much from social media phone. what my day to day is like. And that's what I wanted to make this video about is because I am going through one of the most difficult for me periods in my life as far as growing and kind of just pushing my level of being comfortable. And there's a quote that goes, discomfort is the admissions ticket for a meaningful life. And right now I am I am so uncomfortable, but in like the best way where I, I have to grow, I got very comfortable doing YouTube. School, I get nervous going to school. Like you saw how nervous I got in the apartment. Yeah, yeah, but like, <laughs> I can. if you're prepared, then you don't really have anything to be nervous about. And like, I'm fairly prepared for today. I'm doing something now that I've wanted to do since I was like 10 years old. Like a kid, like very, very young. So I was 20, 24, 23 when I moved here. I'm 32 now, so it goes fast. So if you yeah. want to do something, you gotta do it. 
I'm in the middle of a two-year conservatory training program. It's 40 hours a week, and it is using a completely different muscle of the brain and the heart and the gut that I've ever used before. And it's, it's been a lot, and even just the, the location I'm studying out in Brooklyn, which is super industrial. It looks like in uh, The Great Gatsby when they're driving to Manhattan and they're going through like the soot and the smoke and all that industry. It's just a very, it's a very good environment to show up and just put in the work. There's lots of neuroplasticity happening with the type of training I'm doing in Brooklyn, but more on that to come. Typically in these days, I get done class, I rush home, try to make some food. and eat something at home versus going out and ordering takeout and all that, uh, spending time with the dog, and then it's switching gears. It's going from something where in class it's a very just real and authentic and truthful pursuit. And YouTube, I found, has been, I mean, this is the honest truth. Sometimes it's very just surface level. 4,300 square feet, three bedroom, three and a half bathroom, 10 rooms, just under $17 million. Yeah, switching. Gears here now, so it's after class, and today's one of those days where uh, I'm in YouTuber mode. And by YouTuber mode, I mean like property tour mode, so. I love real estate, I love architecture and design, but sometimes the home tours get very just bland. You know, not to say the real estate videos are not truthful, they're just much, much more fabricated, where I'm more of like a host than myself. I definitely get creative fulfillment for making the, the real estate tours because I'm directing them, I'm producing them, scripting them, sometimes editing them. Uh, nowadays I don't film them anymore, but it's not satiating that creative need that I've, in class I'm harboring something much deeper and much more richer and live with an emotional life. And YouTube, I'm trying to figure out how to make these videos, I don't know, just more, Yeah, yeah, more, more Eric Conover. I feel like a lot of people don't actually know like who I am and what I'm about. So hopefully this video helps a little bit. Awake, all night, I, need you. Awake, all night, I need you. At the end of the day, my go-to thing to just kind of shed away all the stress of the day is to go down to the Hudson River and just stare at the water and stare at the skyline just to go down there and usually be alone. There's not many people, especially this time of year, it's a little cold, but just look at the city and kind of reflect on the day and just, uh, you know, fill my bucket up. The New York City is New York City. It's such a vibrant place. And I think people who live here, you can get very complacent and be like, oh, it's just New York, but it's freaking New York City. Like, look at that view. I think as humans, we are really, really good at normalizing things. That social process, which our ideas and those actions, even where we live, uh, they can be seen as quite normal and they can be taken for granted in everyday life. And this view reminds me of that, that I'm in New York City and I cannot take that for granted. And hopefully this video was a better look at what a, an actual day is like for me living in New York City in 2022. If you like this video, leave a comment down below what else you want to see on this channel. I hope you're well watching this video, and with that, I will see you in the next episode.